Okay, so let's talk about Scarlet. This book is the second book in the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. This is a retelling of Little Red Riding Hood, where this girl named Scarlet's grandmother has gone missing about two weeks ago, and she meets a street fighter named Wolf who has information about her grandmother going missing. I feel like if you haven't read Cinder or Scarlet, and you're trying to find out information about this series, that's kind of all you should know, because this series is a really tricky one. If I talk about any of the characters or the plot itself, I can easily spoil it, and I do not want to do that. Just know that this book is a fantastic book. I rated it 5 out of 5 stars. It kept my attention really high throughout the whole story and I indeed like Scarlet better than I like Cinder. But they were both so amazing. So from here I'm about to go into further more detail. So if you haven't read Cinder yet, I suggest you click off <laughs> I couldn't really say that without sounding rude, but I'm not trying to be rude. But thank you so much for stopping by. Kisses! <laughs> Just so you guys know, I'm not gonna spoil anything for you guys, but I am going into further more detail. So we left off with Cinder with her finding out that she was Princess Celine. Dr. Erlen tells her to escape prison and meet him in Africa. She found out that she was lunar. Like, all of this information hit her at once, and I think all of this happened within, like, two weeks. She's still trying to figure out everything, like, who she is and what she is, and it's all just so crazy for her. So that's how Scarlet kind of kicks off. So you're getting different point of views like every few chapters from like Cinder's situation and then Scarlet's situation until their two stories collide. Scarlet. I loved Scarlet's point of view, bro. Every single smudged smudge it of it. She is an 18 year old girl with bright red curly hair and she got a little bit of a temper on her. She is not one to support the popular opinion if she doesn't think that it's right, which I really admire about her. In Scarlet's side, we meet this street fighter named Wolf who has information about her grandmother going missing and her grandmother is very dear to her and she just kind of went missing suspiciously. Oh my god, as for Wolf, y'all know I really like mysterious men, so personally I was very fond of Wolf. On Cinder's side, when she's running for her life, we meet this character named Captain Thorn. This boy is indescribable, <laughs> bro. Oh, he's so great. Although I didn't really think much of him in Scarlet, he was just another character to me. I am reading Cress and I really like him so much more in Cress. But that's a whole nother video. So we have those two little situations and then on the side of those two situations we have Prince Kai's point of view. Y'all know how I feel about Prince Kai. I talked about him in my book talk of Cinder. He's now the emperor of Beijing, New Beijing, I don't know. But he is currently dealing with Lavana and her wild requests that just make me so mad. It's just like... Why? I feel so bad for him because he's in such a bad position and he's so young and it's just like you're gonna make him go gray before he's like 20. So yeah, Scarlet is a very very interesting story and I think it blends Cinder and Scarlet so beautifully. I highly encourage reading this series. It deserves all the hype and more even though it already has all the hype. Currently I'm reading Crest and I'll get another book talk to you guys as soon as I'm finished with that one. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!